up there at Bernal Hill. And you've got a nice little neighborhood, a uh, little clutch of houses. This house is listed, I have no idea what it's listed at too right now, but it's a great place to look at. It's in nice condition now, but it's also ready for your expansion and renovation. Nice guys here too. So right now you've got this front living room here with the bay window, nine foot ceilings. The lot is, or the house is 20, about 24 feet wide, which is great. Got the water style back from here. And you've got another room here. We'll go upstairs in a second. But over here, this is where we're at. Hello, happy agent saying hello. And going back out here, this is the first deck here. So in Bernal, you have shorter parcels. It's about 1,750 square feet. They're only about 75 feet deep instead of the 100 you see in other places, but they've made the most out of it. You've got a little yard down here. You've got the hot tub. And we'll take a look up in a second. Down here, you've got the basement level. Now the basement level and this build out here are important to take note. Take a look. You've got a lot of space from here to there. You know, um, you know, of course, more than your seven feet and seven, seven feet of, of ceiling height. In fact, let's see how much do you really have here? 11 feet from there to there. So that's nice. You can have some footings down below and then you can still have a good amount of ceiling right there. In fact, you have some sort of support system there. So let's say you were to build this out foundation-wise, you already have the footprint, it's already here. So you fill that in and this to this is about 10 to 12 feet. So you could have another living room or family room down here conceivably and put some internal stairs where that little room was too. But let's take a look inside the garage. So you have the garage here, it's pretty spacious. They have a steeper and shorter um, driveway. And then, like we said, you could do stairs probably in here coming down from that little room. And then over here, you'll see the rest of the foundation. Now it looks to be concrete, which is nice. Uh, a lot of times, eh, it could be, yeah, it looks like concrete there, which is nice too. So you have that and you have a garage space and more importantly, you have the curb cut. Now it is a little steep. You'll see here, it's got a little steepness to it. And you got a little down here, so be careful of that. But. You know, I think you can fix that if you need to. Let's go back in to go upstairs. Offers are due um, next Thursday, which is, I think, Thursday the 22nd. So let's go up here. The last part up here. You've got this sort of narrow stair, of course. You would probably replace this. Like we said, just the room we came through could probably be your stairwell going up and down so you've got one half here of course you've got the little end of the pitch for the knee wall there same thing that they've used for closets and you've got a bathroom up here bathroom and sink of course we already have plumbing which is great and back here this is the killer part i think so from here to here is about 14 feet this is over that mudroom addition that we've seen throughout the property, take a look there. You've got the back side of Bernal Hill, and then you've got Mount Diablo the distance over there, and Bay, Petrero, and South Port on down too. Now, it's interesting to note that you do have a pitched roof, so you could try to do a few dormers. The dormers would dorm around. In fact, it's funny, kind of the parapet, but you would come out this way and this way and you'd have more headroom here so you'd have instead of the pitch ceiling you might have just a little more room to accommodate a stairwell a bathroom or some other type of room we did that on our own house and it worked out really well and it's relatively straightforward to get rather than full-on neighborhood review yeah so anyway 237 ellsworth uh, I forget what the list price is actually, um, but it is a great place here in Bernal. Uh, offers are next Thursday, the 22nd. Uh, of course, this is Kevin Ho and our walkthroughs. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.